The Basic Elements of Music, Lesson 18, Tempo Markings, presented by Saratam Music Publishing. This was from a concert with uh, students from the Omaha Conservatory, the Frontier Strings, and the Omaha Symphony, playing my piece called The Prairie. Lesson 18, Tempo Markings. Okay, and this is one of the worksheets we will do at the end of the lesson. Tempo. The tempo marking indicates how quickly or how slowly the passage of music should be played. And so that tempo is set by the conductor with all of their gestures and how fast or slowly they move their arms. We'll set the tempo. This is a very sh short, a brief uh, list of tempos and information regarding the speed at which music should be played. Uh, I've condensed that down for you that you could print off. This is not exhaustive. There are many, many more, but this is a basic list. And this is from the Dictionary of Musical Terms, 1895 edition. Uh, this was a gift from my older brother. He found in a, a used bookstore. And so keep track of that list. When you see the description and the quarter note equals, that is telling you where to or how to set your metronome. And the metronome is what sets the click for your steady beats. Uh, that's an old version and modern uh, app. And this one is by Tonal Energy. Allegro, music that moves quickly. This piece by Mozart, he wrote, uh, this piece, Symphony Number no. 40, by Mozart, that he wrote the description Allegro Molto. And uh, so I would encourage you to paste this link into your browser and watch this performance. And you could uh, see Simon Rattle's interpretation of Allegro. Because every conductor will be slightly different. Okay, This is uh, from Tchaikovsky, Allegro con Foco. Allegro with fire, and this is Dudamel conducting that movement, so you might uh, uh, look at that. Okay, Largo, music that moves slowly. Okay, Largo, this is a piece by Handel. I will try and play it. interpret them all within a certain range so not everyone will be exactly the same and you can watch a performance of that if you uh, go to this link grave music that moves very slowly okay. uh, I guess the most popular or famous example of music played at this tempo is Handel's uh, overture to the Messiah okay. grave is what he put on the uh, score and there's a performance you can check out. Andante, music that moves at a walking pace. Okay. And this is from Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 1 that he marked Andante. And you can uh, look at Bernstein's interpretation of uh, Beethoven's marking. Adagio, music that is slow and tranquil. Okay. Uh, this is from Beethoven's first symphony. And he wrote Adagio Molto. Okay. And you can check out uh, Claudio Bado's interpretation of Adagio. Okay, those are some brief examples. Um, these terms here have to do with music changing over time. So, accelerando or stringendo indicates that music should gradually speed up. So here are some examples that are from uh, the classical literature that the composer wrote. Poco a poco stringendo. Um, rallentando, retardando, indicates that the music should gradually slow down. Okay. So we have rallentando indicated. Uh, retardando indicated. Poco means little. And poco a poco is little by little. And so the composer has written poco a poco. So little by little make this effect happen. Okay. Crescendo, poco a poco. 
to get louder little by little okay. meno less meno moso less motion okay and the composer has indicated that in the music meno moso okay and uh, here's a mixture of musical terms in one piece this is from beethoven presto and then he wants allegro and then tempo one so he has one tempo another tempo tempo one means go back to that uh, tempo one means go back to that original tempo okay. then we have adagio vivaci adagio allegro so Beethoven has quite a lot of tempo changes so a musician has to know what all these terms are and has to walk the conductor follow the conductor very closely okay here's your worksheet uh, there are the terms and the actual words used to describe how the music should be played these are pretty much agreed upon basically Italian is the language uh, traditional language used you may find them in English slow fast uh, but you do need to be familiar with the uh, f words and phrases for tempos okay so allegro the answer is and you can print this sheet off and always keep it with you and check your answers largo is with slow and stately motion okay. so use that to help you fill out the worksheet the next worksheet is just the word scramble so you're going to match the correct spelling with the jumbled up spelling number one and that is Largo. Okay. So that's our lesson on tempos, your introduction. And uh, the next lesson, lesson 19, is on dynamics. So we'll see you in the next lesson.